Hi, my name is Itaoma Itaoma. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to run a chi-square test of independence in SPSS. A chi-square test is a non-parametric statistical test that is performed on categorical data. The chi-square test of independence, also called the cross-tab analysis, is used to check the relationship between two categorical variables. Essentially, it is a correlational analysis for categorical data. Cross tabs are generally used when you are dealing with survey type data. For this discussion, I want to see if there is a significant relationship between the attendance of a training session and subsequent promotion. The two variables used in this analysis are attended and promoted, and they are both nominal data. So to run the chi-square test of independence in SPSS, you click on analysis, descriptive statistics, cross tabs. Here we have the cross tabs dialog box and you have the rows and you have the columns. You can put the attended in the rows or you can put in the columns or you can put the promoted in the rows or you can put it in the columns. So where you put each variable does not really matter as it will not affect the analysis. However, it is generally observed to put the dependent variable into the columns box and the independent variables into the rows box. So I would put the attended training session into the rows box and the promoted into the columns box. Now we should click on statistics since we are running, we want to run the chi-square analysis, we need to click on the chi-square. If you don't click on the chi-square, for example, and you click OK, what you're going to see is just the cross tabs in the output. So this is what we call the cross tabulation or the cross table. And you can see from this table, this is a two by two matrix. So we have promoted and we have attended. Looking at this table, we have 18 people attended the training and were promoted and we have 19 people were not promoted and did not attend the training. However, we can't make any decision from this table. So to run a chi-square analysis, we go back to descriptive statistics cross tab or you can simply click on this recall recently used dialogues and click on cross tabs. And now we click on statistics chi-square because we are running a chi-square analysis and you click continue then you click on cells in order to show the percentages so for example you can show the row percentage and column percentage i'll just click on just the row and you also click ok and then you click ok clicking on the percentages we can report the appropriate percentages basically now, some authors encourage identifying the cells that contribute the most to the chi-square statistics. So here is the output of the chi-square test of independence. So the first table, the case processing summary, shows that there are 50 people, that 50 people were included in the analysis and there are no missing data. The next table is the cross tabulation table that shows how many people are in each group. The groups being attended, training, and promoted. The last table here shows the chi-square test, the result of the chi-square test. The row of interest is the Pearson chi-square because the chi-square assumption is not evaluated since zero cells have expected counts less than five. The results indicates that there is a significant relationship between the attendance of the training session and subsequent promotion. Thus, attendance of the training session favors subsequent promotion. So here is the p-value. We have p less than 0 0.05 because in our analysis, we assume alpha, which is the significance level, to be 0.05. And here we have p is less than 0.05, so which indicates that there is a significant relationship between the attendance of the training session and subsequent promotion.
uh, we could say attendance of the training session favors subsequent promotion. Now, if the contingency table, so this table, this cross tabulation table is also called a conti contingency table. So if the contingency table is greater than a two by two matrix, then there is the need to follow up the chi-square test of independence with a post hoc analysis in order to determine where the significant relationship is. A two by two table is analogous to an independent sample t-test where I do not have to run a post hoc analysis and all that is needed is the means. In the case of a non-parametric test, frequencies and proportions are used to describe the data. Looking at the percentages from this table, 75% of people promoted attended the training session compared to 27% that were promoted but did not attend the training. Thus, one can conclude that attending the training session led to subsequent promotion but one cannot conclude that training caused promotion unless we know the study design. I would say that 75% contributed the most to the chi-square statistics. If you have any question, be sure to leave a comment. If you found this video helpful, please give a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe.